Today, three teams, each having three contestants. Welcome to the Team Relay Challenge. Let's find out which is the best team today. The members of the first team, Yon Bao, Gator and Freddy. Let's see how they will cope with the obstacles we have prepared for them. Yon Bao has already finished his section and now Gator is floating on the ferries. And I must say he's doing it quite smoothly so far. Gator is jumping on the next ferry. Well done, Gator. And now Freddy is getting the relay. Time for jumping! Woo! And he's done that just magnificently! Good job, Freddy! The first team's result is 46 seconds! I think that's not bad at all! And now the next team that consists of Emily, Victor and Ryan. Emily is smoothly going through the tunnel. Now she's giving the relay to Victor that's going to float on the ferries. Well, he's not doing it for the first time, he's already got some experience. I hope this time he's not going to fall into water. Hold on tight, Victor! He's passing the relay to little Ryan, who's supposed to perform a marvelous jump from the ramp. Excellent! You did it, Ryan! And here's the finish. 43 seconds. That's unbelievable! As many as 3 seconds faster than the previous team. Indeed, great job! And now, give it up to the third team. Toby, Percy and Turbo Thomas. Let's see what they can demonstrate. We see Toby coping with the troublesome truck and passing the relay to Percy that will float on the ferry. Come on, Percy, come on, buddy! Oops, Percy got stuck! Let's help him out! Guys, put your likes to support Percy and his friend Thomas in this incredible contest! Turbo Thomas now is in the game! The jump... Yeah! Even more speed now! Only 42 seconds! That's even faster than the previous result for just one tiny second! And this means the team of Toby, Percy and Thomas becomes the winner of this unbelievably tight challenge! Hi kids! We welcome you at the Dynamite Delivery Challenge. Today the engines should hit the finish pushing as many troublesome trucks with dynamite as possible along the unbelievably tricky and dangerous track you have never seen before. Let's carefully load the dynamite into the loading mechanisms and start the challenge. So, Gordon is our first contender. The start is given and the challenge is beginning! Let's see what Gordon is capable of on this incredible track. As you might have noticed, the trucks not only have some cargo but also numbers. Each number means the amount of points to be given to the contender for bringing this specific truck to the finish line. And meanwhile, Gordon is finishing bringing only one truck. Let's see how many points he will get. Aha, uh -huh, here we have digit 1. So, Gordon's result is 1 point. And now we have a little but agile engine, Percy. Let's check how he's gonna cope with this by far not the simplest track. The first truck is picked. <gasps> What's that? Diesel is running right towards Percy. No, Diesel, you cannot do that! We have a contest going on here! Ah, what a troublemaker this Diesel is! Well, Percy is starting over. 
and Diesel, if he wishes so, will try his luck in the next round. And meanwhile, Percy is carefully moving forward. Oh, he's losing two trucks along the track. But anyway, there are two more trucks left. Can he get them to the finish? Yeah! Let's have a look how many points we have here. Okay. One point. And two points. So, Percy's result is... Three points, which is not bad at all. And now, we give it Diesel a chance to test his skills at this magnificent track. The start is given. Hmm, look how confidently Diesel is moving along the way. Nice, very nice. Wow, as many as three trucks are already picked up by Diesel. Oh, but one of them has fallen off eventually. Ah, one more is gone. And two troublesome trucks are making it to the finish together with Diesel. Let's take a look how many points they can give him. One point and four points. That's unbelievable! Diesel's result becomes as many as five points. And now give it up to... Turbo Thomas! Woo! Can you see that? What an incredible speed demonstrated by this cheeky engine! Not that fast, Thomas! Three trucks! No! Four trucks are lost! And Thomas is finishing in lonely pride. Well, he has lost all the trucks, but anyway, I think his performance was outstanding and totally unpredictable. If you also think so, put your likes for Thomas. That was just really cool. Now it's James' turn to try his luck. Come on, James, show us what you got. So James is picking up the first truck. He's been very careful so far. Oh, he got hooked on something and lost two of his trucks. Two more are left. Hopefully he'll be able to bring them to the finish. Yeah, James is taking it slow and it seems he's made it. Two troublesome trucks are successfully finishing and James is there too. Now let's count the points. One point and two points. Okay, let's summarize. Three points for James. Now Thomas's result. <laughs> Thomas is collecting likes. Diesel has as few as five points. <laughs> Percy is getting whooping three points. And Gordon is getting only one point taking the last place in this challenge. Five ballasting tunnels, diesels against steam engines. Welcome to the ballasting challenge. And the first contender here is Diesel. He's supposed to find out how much this track is challenging. The first tunnel is behind, the second one. Now Diesel needs to gain some elevation to have enough speed before the next tunnel. And meanwhile, I'd like to tell you about the rules of this contest. Each taking tunnel gives one point to the team and one more point for reaching the finish. Let's see if any of the engines manage to get the maximum number of points. Well, so far Diesel is doing not bad. Going to the fifth tunnel and. Oh man! He is derailing right before the finish! It was so close! Well, Diesel's result is 5 points. Not bad anyway! And the next contender is the team of Steam Engines. And its first representative, James. Show us what you got, James!
breaking through the first two tunnels very confidently. My friends, if you like this track, put your likes! And the third tunnel is also behind. So, there are only two of them left ahead and then the finish line. I wonder how well James is going to manage the last tunnel. Oh, James! Make a push! The finish is very close! Yeah, he's coping with it and successfully finished it! Well done, James! This is the best case scenario. Six points! And our next contender will be from Diesel's team. It's Paxton. Let's take a look how well he's going to cope with this challenging track. The first tunnel is done. The second one is behind too. Wow! Right after the second tunnel, Paxton is derailing. So, Paxton is getting only two points. And the next contender trying his luck is... Gordon! Let's check out how this big and powerful engine copes with all those obstacles! Oh no, Gordon! How come? Such an indignity! Right after passing through the first tunnel, Gordon is derailing. And I'm afraid he's finishing his performance gaining only one point. Ah, such a pity! So, the total score of the Steam Engine's team is 7 points. So far, equal with the Diesel's. Alright, now we have Diesel 10 trying to show his best on this quite a challenging track. So far, we can see not every engine reaches the finish. Meanwhile, Diesel 10 has successfully gone through two tunnels. Let's see if he can confidently go through the rest of the obstacles. He's going through the third tunnel, and the fourth one is ahead. Oh, some money troubles over here, but Diesel 10 managed to solve them. He's going up the spiral, and to the fifth tunnel. Oh, man! Right before the very finish, Diesel 10 lingered a little, and it wasn't able to raise the checkered flag. Thus, Diesel 10's result is 5 points, and the total score of his team is 12 points. And now it's Henry's turn. To take his team to the victory, he needs to get the highest number of points which is equal to 6. So, two tunnels are behind. <gasps> Henry's having some problems with his tender. <gasps> it has derailed. But regardless of that, Henry is continuing the ride. <gasps> What's that? He's falling. No, he stayed on his wheels. Look, Henry is riding on the plain ground towards the start. It seems like Henry wants to try his luck one more time. I think he deserves a second chance. If you agree with that, put your likes. Okay, let's see if Henry can rehabilitate himself this time. Now, Henry is going up the spiral slowly but confidently. And here's the third tunnel. Great job, Henry! You made it! Four tunnels are behind! Wow, good job! The spiral is ahead, and the last fifth tunnel… Descendants… And the fifth tunnel is done! And here's the finish! Excellent, Henry! You've gained whooping six points! Total score after that becomes… 13 points earned by steam engines versus 12 points by diesels. So, 
the steam engines are winning in this unbelievably tight challenge. Hi guys! In today's racing, steams and diesels will find out which one of them is the fastest one. And the first competing couple here is Dodge and Thomas. Wow, what are we seeing here? From the very start, Thomas is getting a solid advantage. But look, Dodge is not going to give it away so easily. And he's not letting Thomas to increase the gap. The engines are going through the last obstacle. And approaching the finish. Thomas is crossing the finish line with just half of the body advantage. What a tight struggle they both put up here. We congratulate Thomas with qualifying to the semi-final. Alright, our next pair is represented by Diesel and Charlie. In the first round, a steam engine got his victory. And it's intriguing who's gonna win this time, steam or diesel? Meanwhile, we see Charlie doing his best not to trail from Diesel, which is just a little bit ahead on the track. But right before the final straight, Diesel has managed to speed up and leave Charlie far behind. The jacket flag is up, and this means Diesel is winning this round, becoming the second semi-finalist. Now we know the first two semi-finalists, one steam and one diesel engine. Let's see which engine is going to be the third one. Stephen, nicknamed the Rocket, and Diesel 10 are going to figure that out. Well, I should admit it will be quite tough for an old guy like Stephen to compete against such a powerful opponent like Diesel 10. We see Diesel 10 is gradually picking up the speed, and Stephen is already not capable of catching up with him. Well, this round is also for a diesel engine. Thus, we've got two diesels and one steam engine in the semi-final. And in several seconds, we'll witness one more round to identify the last semi-finalist. Now, give it up to Paxton and Henry. Which one of them will reach the finish first? Steve Henry or Diesel Paxton? Henry's got a good chance to become the second steam engine in the semi-final. And meanwhile, we can see Henry is confidently riding ahead of Paxton and doing his best to keep his advantage. Henry is breaking through the tunnel and… Come on, come on! Yeah, the checkered flag rises up above his head. It means now we have two diesels and two steam engines in the final. The struggle between diesels and steams are continuing. And here we are about to witness the first semi-final. Thomas vs. Diesel 10. This is gonna be a tough struggle now. Get prepared! Wow, we can see Thomas getting a high speed here. Come on, Thomas, push it! Not much is left, keep going! But Diesel 10 seems to be hanging right on Thomas's bumper. The engines are entering the tunnel almost at the same time. Woo, that's tight! But Thomas manages to get ahead of Diesel 10 and win this incredibly tight race. Congratulations, Thomas! You are in the final! At the replay, we can clearly see Diesel 10's delay allowed Thomas to get a crucial advantage. And now, Diesel and Henry will define which one of them will be Thomas' opponent in the final. Both contenders are quite equal and no one wants to give the victory away. Come on, Henry, you can do that! But Diesel is quite a decent opponent here, he is very determined to win this round. The engines are entering the tunnel almost parallelly, and… Oh, what are we seeing? Diesel is getting ahead for just a split of a second and crossing the finish line first. Oh man, what an exciting race we've just seen! Good job, engines! Henry, you did it all you could! 
Therefore, in the final we have Thomas and Diesel. And they will finally determine which one of them is the fastest engine. In today's racing challenge, these two are the brightest representatives of their kinds. No one of them is willing to lose any inch in this intense struggle. So far, they are riding pretty close to each other. The engines are successfully passing the tunnel, and look! Thomas is grabbing away the victory from Diesel, crossing the finish first! Woo! This means we have the ultimate winner of today's racing challenge! Congratulations, Thomas! Hey guys, today we have a face-to-face -face battle. Thomas and James will be competing against each other to find out which of them is better. Now we will check out which of the engines is more agile. James is carrying skills and Thomas manages to catch the chest. What a perfect catch! Good job, Thomas! Now James will try his luck in demonstrating his agility. Skip got scared and… Excellent! James has repeated Thomas's result. After the first contest, the score becomes 1-1. One, one. Well done, engines! And now let's check which of the engines is more powerful. It's a tug of war challenge. James is doing his best to resist, but checkpoint! The score becomes 2 1 to the favor of Thomas. Let's see if James can take revenge now. Thomas! James now! What a tight struggle! And James is managing to pull Thomas towards his checkpoint! The score changes to 2-2! Two, two. So far we can see Thomas is trying his best to win, but James is not willing to give it up too! Good job, engines! What a show! And now it's time for the spiral challenge! We will find out which of the contenders is better at pushing trucks. Hey Thomas, that's not racing challenge, be more careful. As a result, Thomas is finishing with three trucks. Let's see if James can show a better result. He's trying to ride more carefully. But it's not really helping him. Oh, James! How could they happen to you? Don't worry, we will help you out. Continue your ride and be more careful. And James is finishing with three trucks. So, the engines are still even. The score is 3-3. Three, three. Now, we have the final contest. Racing Challenge! The winner of this contest will become the winner of the whole competition! Come on, engines! Show us what you've got! Oh, it seems like James is taking the lead! Now Thomas is shooting ahead! They are almost equal! But Thomas eventually is crossing the finish line first! Congratulations! The final score becomes 4-3 to Thomas's favor. Thomas is the winner of today's challenge and he gets the cup. Hello kids, welcome to the buffer to buffer challenge. Our contenders will be, hmm, let me think, of course, Salty. And welcome his teammate, Flying Scotsman! And now let's choose their opponents in this round. It will be… Emily! And her teammate is… Thomas! Awesome! Get ready! Let's go! 
Let's see what's gonna happen in a second. Thomas confidently turns over flying Scotsman. And... What a struggle we see between Emily and Salty. Come on! This is a draw. Well, let's help all the engines get back on the rails. That was a good round we witnessed. What a desire to win. And... We announced that the first round is taken by Thomas's team. Good job, guys! And now, get ready for the second round. Here we have Diesel and his partner, hmm, Evil Diesel Tan. Okay, against them, we're gonna choose Donald. And of course, his twin engine. Douglas! Excellent! Let's find out who's gonna win in this round! Diesels or twins? The signal is given and the engines have rushed forward! Let's see what's gonna happen! Collision! Some struggle here! And Diesel 10 is flying off the bridge! And meanwhile Donald and Diesel have a draw? Are you serious? All right, let's put the engines back on the track. Douglas is bringing it to his team in this round. Well done, twins! Smart Douglas and charming Donald! And this means his team is going to face the winners of the first round. It was Emily and, of course, her teammate Thomas. Now let's take a look at their opponents. Charming engine, Donald! And where can he go without his smart and quick thinking twin engine, Douglas? So, this is the final. Who do you think is gonna win in this round and get the cup? Let's check this out in a second. First collision! Oh boy, what a struggle! And both engines are falling down. And look, Emily is pushing forward and Douglas is under the bridge. Wow, that was really spectacular. What a tough struggle we just saw. Good job, engines, get back on the rails. What a thrilling contest we had today. Thomas and Emily have managed to win the buffer to buffer challenge. Congratulations, that was awesome! Welcome to the challenge between only green engines. We will find out who is more powerful and agile among them. And the first engine trying his luck will be Dorsey, one of the youngest engines in Sodom. The task of each engine is to push as many cars as possible up to the ramp and then send them all to the finish. The most valuable is the red car, 5 points, orange, 4 points, 3 points for yellow, 2 for the green, and only 1 point for blue car. And meanwhile, Percy is going down the ramp and bringing the green car across the finish line. It means Percy is getting two points for his try. Good job! The next engine in line is Henry. Let's wish him good luck! Henry is a mixed traffic fast tender engine. He is known for using a special Welsh coal to be always in good shape. Let's see if his high speed helps him on this quite a challenging track. So far, he has picked three cars. Oh man, he's losing two of them! Such a pity! And the yellow is gone too! Yeah, today's track is indeed very difficult! The engines must be careful today! Henry's going down with two cars and... Ah, green car is off the track! And this means Henry gets only one point for his try! 
Now we've got a lady engine, Emily. She is a very kind-hearted engine, but sometimes can be a little bossy. So be careful, Emily. This track is by far not simple. It has many dangerous twists and ramps. So far, Emily is doing quite good, but she's got only one yellow car left. Come on, Emily! Oh boy, she's losing it! But let's hope she will keep the green car. Alright, Emily is going down with two cars. And... She's finishing the track receiving three points. And it's more than the others. Good job, girl! Gator is here as our next contender. He is a very brave large tank engine who resembles an alligator. So we hope he will not get scared of such a challenging track that we have today. Meanwhile, Gator is confidently going up with two cars. Oh, the orange car falls down. And the yellow one is off too. So, he's going down the ramp. And... Oh man, he loses the green car and he gets stuck himself. What a pity. Okay, Gator, you get only one point for your try. This time, Flying Scotsman is trying his luck at his incredibly difficult track. Let's wish him good luck! The engine is unbelievably fast, but I'm not sure it's going to help him with this kind of a challenge. Flying Scotsman is picking up the yellow car, but instead he's losing the orange one. Oh, and the yellow one is gone away too. Two cars up here. Flying Scotsman is descending down and... Only blue car reaches the finish. The engine gets only one point. Don't get upset, Flying Scotsman, it's okay. And the last engine up here is... Look, a small tank engine. But who knows, maybe his size will help him to overcome all the twists and other dangerous sections of the track. Let's see. Come on, Luke! Meanwhile, he's picking up the yellow car and continues his confident ride. Good, he's going up! And the green car is also taken up! Ah, the orange has just fallen off, but it's okay. Luke is going down the ramp. And... Wow! Three cars are reaching the finish line! Whooping six points! It's incredible! The smallest engine gets the most points in this unbelievably hard challenge. Congratulations, Luke! You did a great job! Today, a lot of fun and surprises! Welcome to the Tug of War Challenge! Our first contenders are Scarloway, one of the oldest engines on the island. And his opponent will be. Hurricane! Like a storm! Whoa! Round 1 The old engine Scarly is easily pulling Hurricane to his side. Unbelievable! I told you that there would be surprises! And this was one of them! It will get even more interesting further on! Round 2 Do you think Hurricane get a revenge? Scarlet is not giving up! 
One more effort and Hurricane crosses the finish line. Well, it wasn't an easy victory for Hurricane in this round. The next couple is… let's see… Emily! Female tender engine who sometimes can be a little bossy with other engines. And… Percy! Young little engine who likes to deliver mail. Round 1. Wow! Look! Little Percy is somehow managing to outplay Emily and win the first round. What a surprise! Good job, Percy! Round 2. This time, Emily seems to be easily winning Percy. But hold on a second, Percy is not giving up. And one more effort. Is it the finish? No, not really. And finally, Emily is finishing and winning this round. This was really spectacular. Let's continue the show. Look! Little Irish Saddle Tank Engine will be the next contender. And his opponent will be… well, well… Oh, exactly! Let it be Zor Handel! Round 1. And right from the very beginning, Sir Handel is taking the lead and confidently pulling Luke after him. Luke seems to be completely helpless. What an easy victory! Round 2. And this time the advantage is obviously on Luke's side. Sir Handel is trying to resist. Ah, his wheels have lost the cohesion with rails. And this leads to Luke's victory! Excellent job, Luke! Outstanding result! And now we are taking the most famous steam locomotive in the world, Flying Scotsman. And against him there will be Mavis, not as famous but a very strong female diesel engine. Round 1. Oh, have a look! Flying Scotsman, as a real gentleman, decided to yield a little bit and allowed Mavis to win. Round 2. This time, Flying Scotsman has decided to demonstrate his real power. And… without much effort is winning in this round. Interestingly, is there any engine that could really compete against such a strong opponent? Please write about it in the comments and we will surely check this out! Yeah, we've seen an incredible challenge today! The engines have shown their real power and willingness to win! But keep in mind that there will be many other tug of war challenges! Press on the bell not to miss any of them! Put likes, write your comments, and share this video with your friends! Goodbye!